Technology is changing our world. Our devices allowed us to do things that were previously unimaginable. But is that a good thing? Do our devices bring us together or separating us? And we more alone? Are we connected to knowledge or just likely to live in misinformation? We know that the technology helps to save lives. But what about the health risk from being sedentary? Are we more distracted? Or are we more engaged? What are the effects of adding metrics to our social interactions? And does it mean that you can publish anywhere and anytime and share your voice with the world? Explore the pros and cons of technology and defend with your life makes better or worse here on Earth. Be sure to indicate facts in deep analysis. The internet, which began as an academic research project in 1969, is the world's most widely used computer network. It all started with a simple idea, computers that could talk to one another. The implication of this changed the way we communicate across the world. Today, the internet stands for something completely different. It becomes much larger and influential in our lives than so before. But how exactly has the internet changed the way we live our lives? Let's take a look at the ways how the internet has changed our life. Navigation Before the internet, you actually have to ask for direction, have to learn how to use the map to get the way you wanted to go. Now all you should need is your phone to get direction to wherever you wanted to go. Shop Before, you have to go to store or mall for groceries and shopping. Today, all you need is the internet and the credit card to buy whatever you want for all around the world. Dating Back in the day, if you wanted to date someone, you have to ask them in person. If you were a little shy, you will send a love letter or ask your friends to talk to them for you. But now, thanks to the internet, dating has become easy as wiping left and right on numerous dating sites. Communication Day before the internet, people use pen and paper to write a message. They put the message in the envelope with a stamp and wait to deliver it to the recipient. This would take days. Today, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can still speak to your family and friends. You might be in the other side of the globe, still you can communicate them through the magic of the technology. News People get the news from the newspapers. People have to wait days to hear the news from around the world, until it was printed in the local news. News today is instant. After you posted it, the whole world will know it. Finding job. Earlier, people will look for a job. You have to get an interview to someone else in person. Now, there is an application being created to easily find a job through online. Mm -hmm. 
learning new skills. Before the internet, the only way to learn new skills, such as cooking, playing a guitar, drawing, etc., was learning from an expert in a person. Now, all you need to do is get on the internet and search for tutorial videos. Entertainment Event Before the internet, you have to watch the favorite shows on the TV and then wait another whole week for the next episode. Music that is available only in the radio or music channel on TV. Today, the rise of the streaming services, we can watch and listen whatever we want, whenever we want. Reading Before the internet, you will go to the library, buy books and encyclopedia to read up of any topics. Today, we can google anything and we have the answers with our fingertips. We can have a library in the palm of our hands. Technology has benefited many more people and fields than just the business community. One underrated benefit of how technology has advanced over the past few decades is how it has impacted education. Many people who would love to continue their education can't do so because they are working. Live too far away from the local college to you commute. The problem of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now students can enroll into online programs, take single classes without having to leave their homes and at their convenience. Students and professionals alike can benefit from seminars. With seminars make it possible for them to watch the seminar streaming live from their home. Mental skill development with educational content. Educational and instructional practices such as games and apps. Improved cognitive skills are among these benefits. Learning enhancement. Learning how to learn is a very important skill. Student can do extensive research on the subject they wonder about. Problem solving skills. Visual design programs, technical drawing programs, coding programs, and similar design tools improves our creativity. Creative children are successful in adapting to the changing world. Parental control in emergency situation. Data retrieval and information sharing. Technology has also made it possible to share content with similar aids. Computer and smartphones can share photos, videos, and any type of documents. Better transportation in household. When the pilgrims were first settling the Americas, crossing the ocean was at least two months' journey at the Atlantic. Now it can take as little as five or six hours to fly across. Inventions such as washing machine and dishwasher have eliminated the need to do routine cleaning tasks by hand. IOT, Internet of Things, has allowed households to connect all of their electronic devices to a single network, allowing users to control them remotely. No matter how much technology has contributed to us, it still has bad effect on our isolation. Young adults age 19 to 32 years found that people with higher social media use were more than three times as likely to feel socially isolated 
than those who did not use social media as often. Depression and Anxiety People who perceived that they had more negative social interaction online and who were more prone to social comparison experienced higher level of depression and anxiety. Reduce physical activities. More extended use of those technologies promotes a sedentary lifestyle which is known to have negative health effects such as cardiovascular diseases, type 2 diabetes, premature death in children. Children's brains are still developing and may be more sensitive to the effects of the technology and its overuse than adult brain. Children who overuse technology may be more likely to experience issues including lack of attention, low creativity, poor sleep quality, online games addiction, aggressive behaviors, to the family, lack of family attentions and family bonding, lack of individual's privacy, online such addiction like XXX that might lead to violence and harassment, then in pregnancy, pressure and depression. Everything in this world is given to us by God. Each other's abilities and capabilities are grace. If you have received a blessing, appreciate it and use it properly. Do not abuse it because it can send you to your own destruction.